The mouth parts of sea urchins and sand dollars is called Aristotle's lantern. This complex structure is composed of five jaws made up of 40 calcium plates. Sea urchins and sand dollars use their Aristotle's lanterns or mouth apparatuses to scrape algae off rocks and other surfaces, as well as biting and chewing prey. In some cases, the bite can be venomous. Each jaw contains a tooth, which can be seen from the outside. Since the teeth wear through use, they grow at a rate of 1 to 2 millimeters per week in a conveyor belt fashion. Each tooth sits on a bony plate, called a pyramid, five of which make up the sides of the lantern. The mouth apparatus can be retracted into the body and moved from side to side. This is controlled by retractor muscles, which span between the pyramids and raised auricles in the interior of the oral surface of the test, as well as protractor muscles, which span between the aboral ends of the pyramids and the test. The sea urchin's mouth apparatus is named after the Greek philosopher Aristotle, who described the structure in his book Historia Animalium, or The History of Animals, in 350 BCE. Apparently as a result of a mistranslation, it was understood that Aristotle described the mouth apparatus of the sea urchin as resembling a lantern. In fact, he seems to have been referring to the shape of the whole body of the urchin, so, this most characteristic feature of the sea urchins, with its classical name, is the result of an ancient mistranslation of a description made thousands of years ago, and subsequent establishment of the term. To open the mouth, the sea urchin pushes the jaws outward using the retractor muscles. It can then be closed by tensing the protractor muscles. This reciprocal muscular configuration means that the jaws can grip prey precisely. This has been an Anatomy Insights short. We hope that you have found this video both informative and interesting. If you wish to follow us on Instagram or on Twitter, we are at anatomy.insights. You can also send us an email at anatomy.insights at gmail.com.